doctor. And he won't eat anything, and he absolutely refuses to let me take his temperature. Mm. Does anyone come to see him? No, that's just the trouble. Ah, well, in that case, we'd better put him on to the automatic hospital visitor lonely patients for the use of. Uh, you know how to operate it, do you? Yes, doctor. Fine. <laughs> Thank you, nurse. I'll find him myself. Ah, oh, there you are, you old fraud. Large as life and twice as handsome. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Long time no see. Where shall I put these? How are you feeling? Very much worse. Yes, actually. you're looking much better, old chap. Old chap. Old chap. I always said that all you needed was a good long rest. Look, I brought you some grapes. Oh, no. I've got 18 bunches. Nice, big, juicy ones. No need to thank me. No, I won't sit down, thank you. I was wondering if you would like me to bring you in some... <laughs> no, no, please, you go on. Mine wasn't at all interesting, really. <laughs> I wasn't saying anything. How very interesting. I wasn't telling you anything. No, no, really, I'm not at all bored. In fact, I'm enjoying our little chat very, very much indeed. Do you want the bedpan? No. <laughs> What are the nurses like, then? I, I, I... I wouldn't know. I have noticed them. Ha, ha, ha. There can't be much wrong with you, then. <laughs> oh, dear, there goes the bell. No, it wasn't. Are you sure you don't want the bedpan? I'm sorry, I didn't realise I was tiring you. I have enjoyed our little chat. Nobody else is leaving. Yes, I know I'm always the last. I won't be popular with sister, will I? Ha, ha, ha. Come again and see you some grapes. Is your nurse pan feeling better? Grapes, nurses, nurses, nice big juicy ones. Grapes. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.